tell you right off the top, you one of the best people on YouTube, so don't even forget about that. Now, um, I appreciate this video because me and Sexy Sci-Fly was talking about this shit yesterday when she came to California through a couple interviews my way. Um, I watched on the news this morning the Saudis were talking about up in production. Okay, once they up production, there'll be more barrels released and the price theoretically should come down. That's not the problem. Like you touched on, China and India now use more oil. Now, I saw somewhere the other day that America uses 50% of the oil pumped out of the ground and the rest of the world has to deal with the other 50%. There you have it as a problem right there. Our addiction to oil, put it like this, it's not just an addiction, but you know how, I don't know, I don't want to go there like that. Okay, you know how when some people sell drugs, I just want to use that analogy, their addiction is to sell the drugs. Now, these oil barons, that's what I call them, their addiction is the control that they have with their oil. Now, the American dollar is on the verge of collapse based on the videos I've seen. I don't do research. All you young guys do research. And I'm glad you guys do the research because you can correct me when I'm wrong. I just speak from the basic knowledge given to me by my forefathers. So, in saying what I just said, which probably made no difference to the conversation in which we haven't, let me get back on point. You know, I made comments about how America, you know, not too many people had SUVs. And then SUVs, everybody started getting SUVs that are bigger and safer. The speed limit went up. You know, different factors. We use more gas. And everything is trickled down. You know, it's like we've been set up for something and the end is not nowhere near. The end, we're nowhere near the end. And just recently, corn prices and soybean prices, all these prices of other, even the prices of meat are going to go up. Now, there's people who can't afford to feed their family as it is. Now you can't afford to put gas in your car to go to work to feed your family. See what I'm saying? We're being forced into a third world-like feeling. It's going to be a lot of shit jumping off. A lot of poor people. A lot of people are already siphoning gas out of other people's cars. You know, I had a little gas can in the backyard, in a shed, for when I mow my lawn. It ain't in my car. They didn't steal the lawnmower. But you know what they did? They turned it over, drained the gas out of it. Life, we, we get to see the fucked up part of our life. You know how, how when you talk to old people, the ones that are still left there, how they tell you it was fucked up in the 30s? We are in our form of that. You know, our economy is to shits. People around the world don't trust us. We're not the number one entity no more. Because once we emerge out of this shit, we're going to be like third or fourth. In America in fourth place. It's like the fucking Olympics. This, this ain't Allen Iverson I'm not getting the gold medal. This is reality here. We have no infrastructure. I saw on TV, just on TV, on YouTube the other day, they got cars that run on water in Japan. And here in America, they have this inventor who just now got salt water to burn with this little invention he got. So if we're at the beginning stages and they're already building cars to run off water in Japan, who's going to pay for them cars? We are. We're going to drive up our fucking deficit to buy cars that could be made here. We could have been making cars with this technology 15, 20 years ago. And then what would that have done to us now? Your truck would be running on water. Or ethanol. We'll get to the ethanol later. But America is going to flock to buy these cars that run on water. And then some brilliant motherfucker is going to think that, oh, we need to sell them a certain water to go in these cars. Now, I've watched the video, and they, they run off any water. But Americans are stupid. No, we have to have a non-distilled water. And then a non-distilled water would be $10 a gallon, and it only takes a liter to get you 80 kilometers or some shit like that. So, 
The moral of the story I'm trying to say, blood, is this. We have been set up and funneled into a direction that the American people aren't ready to go in. In other words, those people who don't have to worry about how much gas costs because, A, they got a gas card and we're paying for their gas anyway. B, they just richer than shit and don't give a fuck. And C, they don't drive. But me, you, my wife, your wife, or whoever's wife, whatever, has got to put gas in that tank to go to work. Getting to ethanol. Now, ethanol is a gas made of corn or some shit like that. I forget. I used to know. But did you know we could make gas out of hemp? Get back to ethanol. So with the ethanol, you know, we have our farmers growing corn and shit. But this corn is not for U.S. consumption. Now, how can you have American farmers growing corn for ethanol use? We don't fucking use ethanol in America. Not on a widespread. Why is that? Our farmers can go to work and farm their land and send our precious corn overseas, driving up the food market because we don't have no corn. We don't have no wheat. I mean, it's not just gas, brother. They're doing it to food. People are already losing their homes. So where are these homeless people going to sleep? Where are these homeless new, these new middle class homeless families going to sleep? You lose your house. You can't use your car. To, it's against the law to sleep in your car. It's against the law. So you can't have your family in your car. Then, if you could put your family in your car, you can't afford to drive around to everybody go to work and school. We are in a form of fuck the people now. And when we come out of it, like I, like I said, only the cream will rise to the top. We're going to have to do some stankity, shaky, janky shit to stay near the top. Because if anywhere near the bottom, motherfuckers might roll in and just take our shit. Hey, fuck it. You don't deserve that house, the car, or nothing. We're just taking it. You can't take my shit. Click, click, clack, clack. It's taken. Take this voucher and get the fuck out my face. We are headed towards large pockets of America in complete chaos. I know you can see it. Remember when we was kids, they had... The, the, the 1970-something, they had the, the, the gas thing. The gas was so fucked up and low low gas and you can only get your gas every other day depending on... It was fucked. In this day and age, you do some shit like that now, it's going to be people running up in the gas station. Fuck you. Turn the pumps on. Clack, 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 clack. Pumps get turned on. We're headed towards... It's not going to be a civil war. It's going to be a civil implosion. You know, there's no jobs. I say no. There are no jobs. Because the average American can't start over at the bottom. That Therefore, there are no jobs. We need to encourage our high school kids to snap up these little low-paying jobs. But there's laws against children working. American itself is a riddle. Gas prices are just one piece of the riddle. Like I said, the OPEC ministers, or whatever they call them, have said they're going to up production. George Bush, our loyal president, who wants only the best for us, he wants us to drill for oil on our coastlines. Coast of California, we drill for oil out here. The state of California does not get one penny from the oil drilled out of the ground off its coast. State of California has a deficit bigger than some small countries. The state of California itself can go bankrupt. A lot of people don't think a state can go bankrupt. But if a state in the United States of America goes bankrupt, what happens? Will it, de will it be divided? Will the state be broken down and given to the neighboring states? on the borders we are suffering in this country like no other and videos like the one you just did just prove it prove it in a big way
thank you and I hope I enhanced your video a little bit I can't make it any better but you know either there's some large-scale protests or we're gonna just bend over and cry thank you man one and they've been tubed